All right. I think I'm live. So, um, if you have a X299 motherboard, an Intel CPU, like the extreme ones or, or what have you, um, or just an X299 platform, an Intel CPU, they have this driver on there, and you'll see in your uh, device manager. So if you go to device manager, you can just type in DE. Um, you'll have uh, an error here until you install the drivers for Intel Turbo Boost 3.0. Um, actually, I need to install my Bluetooth drivers, but... Uh, and anyway, this the into Windows 11 and won't allow you to install this, or it'll let you install it, but it when you try to start this, it'll give an error. And the quick and simple way, well, first of all, this program, um, you can add programs on here that this will use. Um, and then if you go to settings, you can affinitize all demanding work. Um, and, uh, I'm not sure what these two do, but they do something because when I was playing a game and if we go to task manager and, uh, so when I was playing a game, you can see how these are kind of small or, uh, It'll be solid, right? The top of these will be flat, but they'll be up higher when the CPU is working hard. Um, when I affinitize on cores with diversity, it'll like kind of be jagged at the top. So it is, it is doing something different, these two. I don't know what it is exactly, but any, anyway, that's beside the point. This, this is how to get this running because um, it doesn't run on Windows 11 until you shut off. Um, a setting that I'll show you here. But what this program does is for, I, I believe anyway, for single-threaded applications, it kind of divides up the work or moves the work to uh, your more powerful cores because some of the cores in the Intel CPU aren't all the same. Some of the cores are better than others and can run faster and, and what have you. So in order for that to work uh windows 11 and and later versions of windows 10 i think do that automatically or try to but you need to install the driver for it to work so you don't necessarily need even this turbo boost max technology uh application this application is is different than the driver there's a driver and application but when you install the driver it'll also a lot of the versions will also install this application. Um, so I like to have this application on so I can see what it's doing and then have some access to some minor settings here. Um, anyway, to get this to work, you need to open Start and go to Windows Security. And... Uh, Bear with me here while I find where the setting is. I, I kind of forgot. It's in here somewhere. Might be device security. Here it is. So under device security, so security settings, device security, this core isolation detail, uh, you need to turn this off, and then that'll allow this driver and program to run and be able to have access to it. This prevents attacks from running code in memory, I guess. Um, and and to give a fair warning, I do believe there was a uh, security vulnerability with this, with Intel Turbo Boost 3.0. So if you don't want to run it, don't run it. But I'm, I'm chancing it, and I don't have a problem running this. I've ran this for, for years now without an issue, but... Um, you should be aware of that, or I'll, I'll say that, I guess. Um, but that's it. You shut off core isolation, install the driver, restart, and you should be good to go. It should open up as soon as you shut that off. Um, so that's it. 
quick video just a tip on there um if it helped you out that's great if it didn't too bad <laughs> all right later